If you're a clinic owner looking to get more traffic to your website and improve your online presence, then you're in the right place. On the Propel Your Practice podcast, we provide chiropractors, physical therapists, and other clinic owners with actionable digital marketing strategies, including local SEO and effective website best practices. You'll learn simple and actionable solutions to help your clinic rank on Google and beat your competition. Together, let's propel your practice. Hello there, my friends. This is Darcy Sullivan from Propel Marketing and Design. Today's topic is all about using chat GPT to improve your blog post. I think you're really going to enjoy today's topic. If you're not familiar with chat GPT, ChatGPT is a powerful AI tool that generates and leverages advanced AI and offers a human-like interaction and platform similar to a chat that allows you to do a wide range of tasks, making it a very valuable resource for enhancing your productivity. And I like to think of it as a handy dandy assistant. Now, before we dive into these blogging hacks using ChatGPT, a couple of things that I want to note. One, we are absolutely not going to ChatGPT and just saying, hey, ChatGPT, write me a blog post about fill in the blank. Instead, we are, again, leveraging it as a tool. It is a tool. It is not a strategy. A while back on episode 25, we talked about three chat GPT mistakes. And I don't want to just regurgitate what was said in that episode. I'll leave that episode in the related resources section on the website page associated with this episode. But really, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we've provided chat GPT with enough information to really help it understand who you are, what you're trying to accomplish, who your target audience is, the voice, the style, and the tone of your branding before we give a directive in what we're trying to get it to do for us. So again, we're not just saying, hey, chat GPT, write me a blog post about fill in the blank. Now, before we dive into these hacks, there is one other resource that I want to share with you, and there's going to be a ton more in that resource section that I already mentioned. But in episode 41, I shared with you the anatomy of an effective blog post. And I have to say, it's absolutely one of my favorite episodes. The thing is, is that tools like ChatGPT and other AI tools Don't, again, they don't understand your branding. They don't understand SEO the way that SEO experts understand SEO. And they also don't necessarily outline and format a blog post the way that we would teach you how to format a blog post. If you haven't listened to that episode, give it a listen as well. All right, are you ready? So one of my favorite ways or hacks to use ChatGPT to improve blog posts is to ask it for a better title. I don't know about you, but I am so sick of seeing blog posts with these really boring titles. So you can go to ChatGPT and ask it for 10 ideas of a title for a blog post about fill in the blank. And Again, we want to make sure that it represents your brand. So we're not just going to take exactly what it says. We might modify, we might combine two of the 10 titles to get something that really sounds juicy and good and really click worthy, something people would want to click on and read when they're coming from Google. 
Now, I like to ask for 10. You can ask for more. You can ask for less, but variety is the spice of life. So I do suggest that you ask for enough different ideas that, again, you can use this for brainstorming. Next up is topic generation. ChatGPT can suggest to you trending topics related to what your clinic offers. Again, we have to give it enough directive telling it who you are, what your business offers, who your target audience is. And we want to, again, ask for more in means of a number of topics than just five, right? So we can say, hey, ChatGPT, can you give me 10 to 20 topics that would be good for whatever kind of clinic owner you are, whatever type of business you have? And Again, then you can get an idea and use this during the brainstorming stage. Another way that I'd like to suggest that you use this, and again, if you go back and you listen to the episode where we talk about the anatomy of an effective blog post, you'll note that the anatomy includes an introduction and also a conclusion. So if you go back and you look at the blog post that you're writing or maybe a blog post that you had written before and you realize that it really doesn't have an introduction or a conclusion, you can paste in what you have and say, hey, ChatGPT, write me a compelling introduction to hook readers from the start. So it's taking the content that you've already developed and giving it a fresh spin at the top to really entice a reader. The same thing goes for the conclusion. We always want to wrap up that conclusion. I say wrap it up in a nice little bow and that bow would include a call to action. So what are the next steps that you want somebody to take? So in an example of if you were a chiropractor and you had written a blog post about back pain, the conclusion would wrap up the topics that you covered in the blog post with a call to action to probably book an appointment with your clinic if somebody was suffering from that issue. Now, you can use ChatGPT for keyword research, but there are many other tools out there that I feel like do a better job of that. You can also use ChatGPT to outline ideas. So if you have an idea of what you want to create a blog post about, you can go to ChatGPT and have it help you outline different sections to include in your blog post. Remember, when we're writing blog posts, we don't want them to be just a simple 300-word little blurb. We want these to be robust and interesting and truly cover all of the topics that should be included in that post. You can also use ChatGPT for editing and proofreading. You can copy and paste in your blog post and say, hey, ChatGPT, can you review this and suggest improvements for grammar, style, and clarity? I really like that one because I know that a lot of people aren't as confident when it comes to grammar and style and clarity, and using a resource like ChatGPT can help you do that. Now, I do have to say I'm a huge fan of Grammarly, which is what we use, which is a really amazing proofreading tool that helps with your grammar and your style. But again, if you have ChatGPT open and you want to use it, you can use it for editing and proofreading. Up next, You can use ChatGPT to help you improve your SEO meta descriptions and SEO title tags. You can use ChatGPT to help you create these descriptions that will help you better in search engines. Now, again, we're not just looking at exactly what ChatGPT spits out. So, if I were going to use ChatGPT for this and We write our own meta descriptions and title tags, especially for 
clients. Um, but if you were going to use it, again, you would want to ask it for multiple examples. So then you can kind of choose what works best out of the ones that it offers you. Or you could hodgepodge them together and come up with something of your own. Another way you can use ChatGPT is to improve an old blog post. Again, in that resource section, I'll include links to other episodes. There was one that we did on should you republish a blog post or ditch it and start all over again or what you should do with your old blog post. And I think revisiting some of your old blog post is a great way to improve your SEO search engine optimization. And what you can do is paste an old blog post into ChatGPT and ask it to improve the blog post. Or if there's a section that you want to add, you can put, paste in the blog post and say, hey, ChatGPT, I want to work in a section about this. Or, hey, ChatGPT, I want to make sure that this blog post is optimized for a specific keyword phrase. Can you please help me improve the post? When ever chat GPT spits out anything, especially if it's long content, you do want to make sure that again, you read it over and over again, edit it to make sure that it clearly does represent your brand. And after you've put together a piece of content, like a blog post, you can use chat GPT two more ways that I want to suggest. One is you can paste in that blog post into ChatGPT and say, hey, ChatGPT, I just wrote the following blog post. Please help me come up with social media snippets to promote the post. This will help produce short, engaging excerpts that you can use to share your blog post on social media platforms. You could do the same by asking it to spit out suggestions or an outline for a short video to go with the blog post. And one of my absolute favorites, you can ask it to turn the blog post into a short email blast that then you can send out to your patients or your customers or anyone on your email list. I hope you can see how you can use ChatGPT for these tasks that sometimes do seem a little daunting in a way that will help drive more traffic and engagement to content you're creating. But again, not just relying solely on ChatGPT to put together the content. You can use the same type of actions that we talked about in this episode with other AI tools as well. Well, hey, we're going to head out shortly, but before we do, I would love to share with you a brand new free webinar that I just put together called Patient Driven SEO for Clinic Owners, Three Simple Steps to Attract More Patients Online Without Spending One Cent on Ads. You can find this by visiting propelyourcompany.com slash learn in this free training, you will learn what SEO is, how to improve your rankings in the map section of Google, the number one thing you can do today to improve your website performance, which takes less than 10 minutes, why SEO has such a huge impact on your company's bottom line and how to leverage it to get more leads, where to focus your efforts online for maximum results along with how to integrate the latest in AI to simplify the whole process. Again, you can sign up for that webinar by visiting propelyourcompany.com slash learn. 